I always feel like I have my shit together whenever I go grocery shopping and there are things to eat in my fridge. So let's get some essentials and start the week off right. My boyfriend wanted to make some overnight oats, which was perfect because I always feel like I want to snack on something kind of sweet and I'm doing my best to try to cut out sugar lately. I'm trying to save eating sugar and desserts for special occasions and when I'm out with friends rather than having it readily available in the house. But I've always had a sweet tooth, so I really like to eat a lot of fruit and we decided to top these off with a bunch of frozen fruit and I wasn't sure how it was going to taste because I had never done that before. But to my surprise, it turned out really, really good. We used rolled oats, hemp seeds, chia seeds, the fruit of our choice, as well as honey and a little bit of vanilla extract. You shake it up before you put it in the fridge overnight. And the next day, you have this ready meal that you can eat whenever you want. I'm packing a few stationary club rewards so that I can ship out as many of these as possible today. My launch is tomorrow and I always find it a little overwhelming when I have stationary club stuff still left to do for the month when I'm preparing for a new launch. So this just kind of helps me clear my head and I also don't want people to have to wait longer than they need to to get their monthly snail mail. Some new stamps just came in. I got the sea turtles this time. They're so beautiful and I still got the same two ounce stamps, but recently USPS changed their postage prices. So I need to figure out what I need to do. What I did this month just to be safe was I added more postage to all of the outgoing orders, rewards but I think it's going to be a lot easier and cheaper once I can move my Patreon over to my main website because I'm able to print labels that are first class shipping on there. Safi started barking so I had to press pause. I think I got a delivery. So it should be easier once everything is integrated over. The frustrating and difficult thing about running your own website on Shopify is that pretty much everything you add that are different apps like adding a monthly subscription option or having points as a reward system, all of those are done through separate apps that you basically have to get through a marketplace just like when you download apps on your phone. So it is kind of scary because you don't know how reliable everything is going to be. And you also don't know if something's just gonna change or be like unavailable at any point. So it is really hard to figure out what's the best option because there are always risks. But I really am ready for my Patreon to be available on my main website. So I'm still figuring it out. I'm doing a lot of research and we'll see what happens. I am not going to lie, packing has been really exhausting for me lately and I find myself having to hype myself up to get in the mood to pack because it has been really draining since earlier this year I had to do a lot more packing than usual and the days were a lot longer for me so I'm sort of easing my way back into feeling good about a lot of the more repetitive tasks of running a stationery shop. I never want to feel guilty or shameful about sharing 
the experiences that are less than perfect with all of you because the reality of running a business is always going to have its ups and downs. As much as I love packing orders and connecting with you all and reading all of the lovely notes that people leave, it can also be so tiring when other things are kind of stacking up around it. So lately, I've been asking my boyfriend to help me pack so that I can stay motivated for a couple of hours and move the packing process along a little more quickly. Whenever he helps me pack, I print out all of the packing slips so that it's easier for him to just carry it around my little office and check off everything as he collects everything. And it's also easier for me to double check. So if you place an order and you see one of these packing slips, that means my boyfriend helped me pack your order. I had a few Suncatcher decals that went out of stock and a lot of people were asking for a restock of the Lily of the Valley. So while I was ordering that one, I decided to order some other new ones and some restocks for inventory that was kind of low. In order to be more cost effective and eco-conscious when I'm ordering a lot of different products from one manufacturer. I try to save up different orders and order it at the same time so that one, it arrives to me at the same time and two, it's just one big package. So typically the shipping fees are lower than if I had placed multiple orders around the same time. I already knew that I wanted to bring the Horrors Persist But So Do I Pigeon and the My Give a Ducks Are On Vacation as well as the My Ducks Aren't Quite In A Row designs into my Suncatcher decal collection, especially since these designs have been a lot of people's favorites lately. The only negative side to doing it this way is that I really need to motivate myself to get the drafts ready and put all of the templates together to place the order at once. If I sort of dilly-dally and take a long time finishing one design, then the rest of the order gets held up and the entire shipment could get pushed out by several weeks if I don't keep myself accountable.
This is the first time I did this, but I decided to make the my ducks aren't quite in a row design five inches wide because the design is so narrow that making it four inches like majority of my other sun catchers would make this design feel very small. So I opted out to make it larger and I may have to stick it on the backing cards on a tilt because I don't think it's going to fit if i place it horizontally so i hope i find a way to make that work the size turned out great and i'm really glad that i went one inch bigger Here's a little behind the scenes on how I take my videos for my Suncatcher decals. In order to be a little more efficient, I like to take the photos of the decal before it's peeled and after while I'm making the video. And then when I edit the videos, I can just cut off the beginning where I haven't started to peel yet. And that saves me so much time. I was so excited to get my beautiful tree in the background and the gazebo. If you want this, you need to work for it. Roll over. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Try again. Lay down. Good. Roll over. Roll over. Good girl. <laughs> Good roll. <laughs>